Hello and welcome. Today we're visiting Bent's Garden Centre. Yeah, Bent's has recently been voted as the best destination garden centre in the North West and the best restaurant, so we thought we'd come and have a look. Yeah, so join us as we tour Bent's Garden Centre. Oh, this is cute. It's one thing they do do really well in here is the displays and stuff. It's even got hands on. I wish I had this level of like creative design. <laughs> I have no idea. Do you remember when garden centres just used to have plants? Yeah. <laughs> Big business nowadays, though. Well, yeah, that's true. I mean, the homeware stuff's gorgeous in here. Oh, I like this map. It's one of these, though, where you can... You've got pins and you can mark on where you've been. Oh, I really like that. <laughs> How much is it? 60 quid. Oh, I love that. There'd just be lots of pins in Florida, though. <laughs> I see so many beautiful things that look lovely in the house, but I don't know where I put them all. <laughs> We're not getting a bigger house. No, what, just to fit all my purchases in? Yeah. I just, it's just beautiful, that's all. We'll have to come back at Christmas. Yeah, the Christmas displays here are always amazing, aren't they? Yeah, they are. I mean, they have amazingly decorated trees and all the room setups and uh, it, it, it's a, I think it's a bit of a tourist attraction in its own right, really, even if people come at Christmas just to see the Bent's Christmas display. Yeah, yeah we'll definitely have to come back then. It doesn't seem to matter which garden centre you come to, they always tend to have a Edinburgh woolen mill for some reason. And Karen looking at the candles and having Ooh, a sniff. Have a smell. It's not very strong, is it? No, I don't know what that's amber and frankincense apparently. I wonder what. Oh. Oh, I could bankrupt you just on candles, you know. <laughs> you mean could bankrupt me, you do bankrupt me. <laughs> Uh, I like a good smelly candle, you know that. Yeah, you've got champagne taste but lemonade money. Thanks. <laughs> it's true, but... Edinburgh Wool and Mill, there's no, quite a few. I just mentioned that every garden centre seems to have a... Yeah, it does. Edinburgh Wool and Mill. This, this garden centre's got some really good shops though that will come in in a bit. There's, um, you've got Trespass, Nevis Sport, and Lakeland, which is only just opened here, which is great. Oh, the jigsaws. They always had jigsaws in here. Yeah. Hey, Radley bags. Just say no, Kevin, just say no. <laughs> oh, I like, I like Radley bags. I know you do. They're nice as well. Mm. Rock is sustainable. Never heard of them. No. That one's quite a good one. 40 quid, it's not bad. 
not too busy at the minute. No, well, it is early morning, isn't it? So. Yeah, um, it'll get rammed at weekends. Really busy at the weekends. Yep. Right, and some of the amazing outside for outdoor furniture. We had a table and chairs from here once, didn't we? We did, yeah. As you can see, they're saying it's the end of a season sale, even though we're in end of July. A grand off's not bad. No. I think Hannah would like one of these teepees. <laughs> She's a bit old for that now. Yeah, too. she is. She'd just sit in it on her iPad. Yeah. <laughs> so what, what we've got down here? Barber. Get yourself a nice barber wax jacket. Yep. Twenty eight quid, that's not too bad. Not included in the end of season sale, mind you. No. Some things some barber things are. Oh, yeah. Some bits in the sale are. Five percent off here. Yeah. yeah. So twenty five percent off a wax jacket. It's not bad. Hmm. Be fifty odd quid off. Just can't argue. No. Do know if they've got white stuff or um, fat, not fat face, um, that you're in trouble. Sea salt, there we go. I am looking. Well, I think you're in luck. I've not seen anything I like. Good. Told you about that. be a lot in this end of season clearance sale. Yeah. Including barbecues. Well, that barbecue is almost bigger than our cooker at home. <laughs> they have um, like barbecue demonstrations and stuff here, don't they? They have yeah. like master classes and all that kind of thing. Ooh, solar lights. I've seen some like dome ones that are hand made that I want. Can go through to the garden centre? Yeah, I can do. We should have one that says that the grass isn't greener because the dog pees on it. <laughs> that is true. More Weber barbecues. Size of that thing. Seriously, that's bigger than we've got a range cooker at home, and that's bigger than well, we haven't got not a range cooker, but 
That's huge. Go through into the uh, through into the food hall. Yeah, Jack and Cola. Oh, that sounds nice. Barbecue roll. To go with your four and a four grand Weber barbecue. Yeah. Fudge and turkey to Yeah, don't mind the fudge, you can have the turkey to life. Yes. <laughs> Weirdo. Just like a more exotic taste than you, that's all. Oh, I do love the food hall in here. It doesn't look like they've finished washing up because they're quite early, but look at them. Wow. Look at these fall. Little cheese cakes down there. And the chocolates, they look amazing. Salty caramel. Mm -hmm. Eccles cake, I like oh, a nice Eccles cake myself. I like a nice Eccles cake. But handmade in Preston. The butchers, um, the butchery counter here, this is a local butcher, well, butchers from Preston. Um, the quality is amazing. Honeywell's butchers. Yeah, have you heard about that? Yeah, Beef Wellington. Yeah. yeah. Sausage rolls here. Oh, they, do, they look great there. I'd be really tempted to get some of them. And all these like flavoured meats and everything. Yep. Yeah. Whiskey and black pepper short rib. You've ruined it for me, Harry. I didn't really care after that. The size of that steak. Tom and Hawk steak. That's £40 and 72p if you want to purchase that. I've seen these. Well, oh. so that. In a soup. Oh, yeah. So it's all the stuff that you need, but basically you add that to some hot water, boiling water, and then leave it to simmer for half an hour and that's your quinoa, tomato and red pepper soup. What a brilliant idea. Chicken noodle, everything. Sounds all right, apart from the quinoa. <laughs> What's wrong with quinoa? Food of the devil. Food of the devil. <laughs> They quite often have like food tastings and food festivals yeah, in here. There's no food to taste yet though. We're obviously here at the wrong time. That's something that I like up there. The fact that the suppliers are local. I, don't know, I really like that. Yeah, it's a good idea, isn't it? It's quite a big food hall, really, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Looking on the website, and one of the things that they've said is that they will 
quality alternative large-scale shopping centres. And I think this definitely is the case. These are nice, Chris. I know, remember we bought these at T-Bay Services? Yeah, T-Bay. That's our other favourite, like, garden centre type, or farm shop, rather. So if you see these in your local shop, highly recommend yeah. checking them out. They really are nice. Proper crisp snot. Yep. Oh, here's one of your local suppliers, Paul. Uncle Joe's. Uncle Joe's made a ball. Friends. Sit down and your favourite. You like a good root beer, don't you? Yeah. There you go, loads of local craft beers here, Paul, look. Oh, yeah. Oh, I bet that's nice. Fording gas, nice drink. It's not exactly local, though, is no, it? No, it's not, but. Bells in the zoo. Duval is in the zoo. So it's quite interesting, some of the local beers and yeah, German it. and Belgian beers. I didn't realise they did beer from Dunham Mass in here. And then there's this massive wine section. Wine section here, yeah. Sadly, Barry, I can't find any Wainwrights beers, which no, is a shame. No. I purchased a couple of Wainwrights to enjoy later. We've just gone past the tapas bar, Paul. The tapas bar is one of the like the food places here. Um, there's a couple of good like cafe bars, coffee shops as well, and the main restaurant. But yeah, you've got the uh, the tapas bar. It's not open until lunchtime though from Thursday to Saturday and then Sunday. Okay, we're gonna go through to the we are, yeah. shops.
this is the other place where I mentally spend thousands of pounds in the <laughs> cook shop. She mentally spends thousands of pounds over there. That's why I try and get out of here as soon as I can. Let me take a I'll do it. You really would be in trouble if they saw all the crisp pots of pans and mm -hmm. things in here. Came on there, not looking too good, looking a bit blue. Mm hmm? Came on, not looking too good there, looking a bit blue. <laughs> yeah, dear me. section in here is doing though now that Lakeland are here as well. Oh, okay. I've been watching news over the past couple of weeks. Everybody got it. Oh, it's really confusing. Which one's best and... You know, she'd be wanting to buy all the toys and but it's a really nice there's some like the usual kind of Lego and stuff like that, but then you've also got in here some more traditional kids' toys and then some really nice kids' clothes. <sighs> and now into my heaven shop. I love Lakeland. Yeah, it's only recently opened here, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I can't remember what was here before, but uh, yeah, not been open very long. But if you've got a Lakeland card and you're a Lakeland member, then um, you can you can use your rewards and discounts and everything in here. So just because it's part of the Bent's Garden Centre, it doesn't stop you using your Lakeland card in here. You don't seem to sell as much electrical in there, does No, it? and maybe that's... Yeah, maybe that's part of the deal, wasn't it? Yeah, when they moved in. Shoulder stream. It's quite big again now. And I have to admit, I've thought about it. But, you know, because we like our Pepsi Max, whether it's, you know, worth thinking about. Another one. Let us know. Let us know in the comments. I mentioned before about the Lakeland card, and if you, if you join the Lakeland, you get 10% off. Events have a program called Inspired. And when you join, um, Well, it is. We've, we've planted up in the back of the house. And then...
אלא יש בו.
Yeah. So I was talking before about the fact that when Bent started doing dining, it was a bit of a new thing. Um, but there's a number of different dining options. You've got the Fresh Approach, which is the main restaurant, a couple of cafe bars, so the Café El Verde, which is what's here, and a, another cafe bar. Um, and then there's the Pet Café that we've showed you before. And then there's a little um, cafe out by the Jurassic Cove Adventure Golf as well. So we popped into the cafe for uh, a bite to eat, for, for breakfast. Mm. What did you cop for, Karen? I've gone for the American pancakes with blueberries and maple syrup and um, Greek yogurt. All right, and I went for a big breakfast. I came with a filter coffee and Karen got a cup of tea. tea. So, bon appetit. Yeah. So we just finished our breakfast, which was... Uh, really nice. Yeah, it was. Um, as you saw, I had a big breakfast, which consisted of uh, black pudding, beans, mushrooms, two ash browns, two rashes of bacon, two sausage and grilled tomato and a slice of brown toast. And that came with a filter coffee for £12.95. Yep. And Karen had... I had a stack of three buttermilk pancakes with um, blueberry and vanilla compote with maple syrup and a um, big slob of um, Greek yoghurt. That was six ninety, no, five ninety five, or I could have had it with five um, pancakes if I'd wanted to, and that would have an extra pound, I think, or extra two pounds. But we were in the Fresh Approach restaurant, which is the main restaurant here at Bent's, but outside the Fresh Approach, You've got this fantastic pond and um, overlooking the lake. And you've got these outside like pods as well. Yeah, I would imagine in the summer they're quite hot in there. Yeah, but you can see across to the uh, Jurassic Cove um, crazy golf and the kids play area. But you can also sit out on the um, patio as well. That's yeah. outside the restaurant. Al fresco dining. Yeah. Well, today's the day you could do al fresco dining. It is. It's a lovely day. It is uh, really nice. So we've just come out of the restaurant and we're near the exit now. So last chance to get purchase any cards or. There's a little bit of a book section, isn't there? Yeah, you've got um, lots of cards, actually. It's a really good card selection, and they're all decent quality ones as well, not the sort of, like, I'll say, supermarket cards in some cases. Um, and then you've got, like, gift wrap, gift bags, um, cards for all occasions, and then a nice little book section. I mean, I know you get these in a lot of garden centres, but uh, quite a nice selection in here. And if Hannah was, was here, she'd be wanting to buy our So that was our trip to Bent's Garden Centre. Hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, you could easily spend a good half a day here if you just wanted yeah. to mooch around, have a good old look at things. Um, I mean, definitely if you decided you were going to go and play on the Jurassic Cove Golf, you could you could easily make a good, you know, 
half a day, three quarters of a day. There's a couple of bits here that we've not shown you as well. So on the far side of the car park, so as you can probably see straight away, you can see lots of trees straight ahead. You've got the Weeping Ash Garden, which was planted by one of the original Bent family. And you can go and have a look all around there. And behind where the Jurassic Cove Golf is, there is um, what they call the Windy Bank Wood, Woods Walk, which is a bit of a kind of nature walk. Um, there's um, wildflowers and so on. And it's, there's about a three mile trail that goes through that. And if you go on the Bent's website, there's a, um, like a children's, um, I guess, kind of like foraging list um, of things that for them to tick off and if you tick everything off on the walk while you're walking around there and take the leaflet back to the customer service desk children can get a free little gift i've no idea what the little gift is but again something really nice to do with particularly younger children during the school holidays go on a bit of a nature trail and a, a bit of a hunt yeah and as we mentioned earlier on there's it's parking for over 800 cars they reckon um, certainly got busier since we arrived. Definitely got busier since we arrived. And as I mentioned, there is two Tesla destination charges. Um, you don't you don't have to be a Tesla driver to use them, apparently. Um, well, you, you mustn't because I don't think either of the cars that were on them when we came in were Teslas. Right. But as I say, I believe they're 22 kilowatts per hour. Um, but having never used one, because every time we've been here they've been full, uh, I couldn't confirm or deny that. Yeah. But definitely well worth a visit here. Whether you're a, a garden lover or non-gardeners like we are, it's a, it's a really nice day out. Say so just for a bit of a wander, maybe grab something to eat, take the kids on the windy bank woods walk, go play a bit of Jurassic Cove golf. <laughs> Another thing to add to your list of things that you could do with your kids in the summer holidays. So if you do want to know where the destination charges are, we're outside Trespass and Nevis Sport. Um, oh, and it looks as though they're free. So we might be jumping on. <laughs> we might well do. Yeah, so just past the pet place and then the destination chargers are directly outside the pet place. So we're back in the car now. We, when we arrived, the chargers were being used, but we've just returned and the chargers are free. So um, I decided to put it on for half an hour. Might as yep. well take advantage of it. As I said earlier, uh, I, I was led to believe it was 22 kilowatts, but it's saying at the moment we're getting 12 kilowatts. Yep. So it's okay for some free charge. Absolutely right, yeah. So thank you very much if you've got this far. Hope you've enjoyed it. Yeah, we've had a lovely morning just wandering around Bents um, and I hope you've enjoyed having a wander with us. Uh, on the screen now will be a video that YouTube recommends you watch next. We would really appreciate if you did watch it. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, can you please consider subscribing and hitting that like button. It really does help our channel out. And until the next time... See you soon. Take care now. Bye-bye.